Hi guys, my name is Adara Opiola and I'm a fifth year senior at UNI and as a Hispanic woman, I've had lots of experience with talking about and dealing with race in my everyday life. I wanted to start off by saying that race is not easy to talk about. It's scary to even bring up in one-on-one -on -one conversations, but especially when you're in a group of people all looking and watching you. Luckily, I have done both and had conversations in both of the settings, so I wanted to share some advice from my personal experiences as well as some other ideas on what most effectively facilitates conversations about race. Along with being a student at UNI, I am also a member of the softball team here. Playing softball in the Midwest is a lot different than other places around the country because it was pretty rare for me to play with or against other people of color. Uh, so in other words, I felt like in my sport I was the lone person of color. As I got older, I felt a responsibility to share my experiences and continue to educate uh, the people around me about race. As for having conversations in front of crowds, whether it's 10 people or hundreds of people, it is nerve-wracking. People are looking at you and you feel all the pressure of public speaking and public speaking on a particularly sensitive topic. It is not easy and it will never be easy. Um, even recording this video makes me nervous after I've spoken in a variety of different settings. Uh, so with that being said, I have two specific experiences of public speaking that I wanted to share with you guys because I think it shows that every person is capable of doing what I've been able to do. So one of my experiences was a presentation that I made for my softball team and I specifically called it a racial equity training. I felt that as one of the only minorities on my team, it was important for me to use my voice as a student athlete with people who care about me and respect me. Um, even with that security, I was terrified. I never knew what anyone was going to say or what sort of backlash I could get. But in reality, people are so quiet when you have these conversations. So quiet. They stare at you and they're silent, which is scary in and of itself because you don't know what they're thinking. Um, but in contrast to that, I have spoken in front of my entire student-athlete body a few times as well. And really, the only difference that I felt between talking in front of my softball team of 20 versus my entire student athlete body was that there were just more people looking at you and um, listening to every noise that I make. However, both felt very similar to me in terms of the way that people look at you and the response that you get from your crowd. With that being said, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give to someone trying to have these conversations for the first time is that no one owns the conversation. Every human has the right to talk about race and we should be talking about race. It's important to embrace race and love people for who they are and their culture. I would emphasize that we are all humans, but what makes us different is a wonderful thing and we should embrace that and that's what we should love about others. Secondly, I would say to invite people to share their stories with you or invite people to participate. Uh, the active participation will require real engagement that you may not get when people are just looking and listening. You should ask questions and even maybe make small discussion groups that will allow people to finally open up and ask questions that they might have been afraid to ask before. Thirdly, it is essential to set an environment that makes people listening want to participate. Typically in these conversations, white people feel guilty and people of color get upset. And it's essential that the conversation is calm and people do not get overly upset because people aren't going to listen to what you're saying if you raise your voice and the same goes for people that share their stories while in your audience. Um, it's important to establish emotional boundaries early and to maintain the respect of everyone listening. Lastly, I would say make sure that you're being confident, and if you aren't confident, fake it until you make it. Practice with your family and your trusted friends before you do the real presentations because it is scary. And if you come off as cool, confident, well-spoken, and collected, the conversation is better remembered and people are more likely to want to be a part of it as well. Overall, I hope that this video was helpful and gives you guys confidence in your conversations. I know that for me, much of my confidence and success having these conversations has come from the practice and the education. So continue to work and continue to get smarter, and I know that you guys will do great. Thank you again for listening, and please feel free to reach out to me specifically if you have any further questions.